Bradley's uh, and had them check to see uh, which power steering fluid GM recommended. Seems like it's uh, pretty standard. So they just sold me premium power steering fluid. So that sounds like I might be a sucker, but you know, you never know. Also, uh, they'll rent you these things. And what they do is they rent them for the value of the tool. So it's basically, they'll, it's a buyback process. So uh, this is a, a Pittman arm puller. And uh, so we're gonna use this to get the Pittman arm off this guy and pull it off the, pull the, uh, detach it right here so we can uh, swap these out. So when I'm done, I can actually turn this back or I can take this back or if I wanna keep it, if I'm gonna do a bunch more projects, which we talked about doing, this $14.95 at O'Reilly. So all in all, I'm at $20, $25 for all these supplies, $45 for that. And uh, I think that's a good deal. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get his truck up in the air. Gotta get the other one off. Get this thing on there and we'll see if it fixes all our right. problem. Okay, so we've got our new uh, gearbox. I've set up a place here in my little workshop so we can do some work on this. We're gonna clean it up. We're gonna pull off the pitman arm and uh, I've let it sit outside for a little bit now that we're back and uh, we let it drain the rest of the uh, power steering fluid. It's really hot out today. So I've got all the windows opening open out here. I'm probably going to go get a fan and blow some cool air through here. But uh, I'm going to show you, we're going to pull off this pitman arm. We're going to show you how to do that. And uh, we're going to clean it up and uh, and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, so here we have our uh, new gearbox. we got a workspace. So uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the pitman arm and uh, we're going to clean up the whole unit and uh, as you can see, if I turn this gear, everything, you see that pitman arm moving. And then, you know, I turn it back and you can hear, you can hear the uh, the oil is switching gear, switching direction, so it's pushing it back out. And that's good too. So that lets me see what's going on here. You can hear it gurgling as it's trying to do both. So I think all in all, we're doing, we're, we're looking really good. This is a really good unit. Uh, and so, all right, here we go. Okay, so um, I cleaned up the new uh, uh, steering gear box. I started to pull off the uh, pitman arm, and then uh, I double checked uh, on uh, some videos I'd been watching, and this pitman arm actually fits on in a very specific way, and so it's almost to be easier just to leave this pitman on, arm on here. Uh, as you saw, I was having a heck of a time trying to get it off, so I just wanted to double check and. It's, I'm gonna take a look at uh, where it connects to the center link and uh, okay, maybe that's so. the better way. To that looks pretty straightforward. I mean, it's kind of hard. I could get a, something to hold that up. 
I could show you what I was talking about. Uh, try to hold it with this hand. Ah, come on, turkey. Come on. There we go. Ta da! Alright, here we go. So, um, we got there's a joint there. That definitely, that screw maybe a little bit of penetrating fluid. I'll double check because I'm not sure if there's a rubber uh, piece in here, but I'm going to go double check online. Um, and uh, that looks like I've got a tool to take that off. First thing we did was remove the air filter, then the intake, and we took off the eight bolts that hold that the cover for the fan. Uh, might be called something else, I'm not sure, um, but it comes out pretty easily. Total time, I think it took us about ten minutes to pull all these parts off, and it was pretty straightforward and easy. Now that everything's out of the way, you can see the gearbox. We turned on some lights, and you can see what we're working. You got to remember, I've never done this before, so I'm a little nervous that it's not going to work, or there's something I didn't think of. Pretty much at the point of no return, so here we go. All right, so I'm going to move this cover. And, uh, I've got this, and... Yeah, and I can try to feel it. It's right here, I think, or right in here. There it is. There's the tube there. And then uh, I've got a sleeve up here that needs to come off. And uh, this guy right here, because uh, we made a decision, didn't have all the parts, so we're going to go with what we got. Even with everything we removed, it's still difficult getting to the power steering lines. The radiator hose is in the way, and it's a difficult uh, position to get to. It took us about, I don't know, 15 minutes, but eventually we were able to get the power steering lines out. Alright, so now I'm going to take off the, uh, the pinch collar on the steering column, and uh, then we're going to disconnect the center link and then we're going to take the three bolts out of the frame and that baby should fall right out and just set it off the side take a look at it and right now it's draining so we're going to go ahead and it's, it's not only draining so we need to get in is that pucky kind of cracking that would be funny Oh, we can clean that up. Mm. Yeah. I thought it was a good idea. It allowed me to test out my theory on uh, cat litter. So, now you know. What I'm going to do is, while I'm working on that, I'm going to take a little bit of this WD-40. I'm going to spray these three bolts over here. They've been sitting there for who knows how long, probably since the beginning of time for this truck. So we're going to put a little bit of this on there, let it work its way in. That way it's not so hard to get those bolts out.
So we've got that loose, but I don't want to mess up the gearing or the sleeve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bolt off the, the connector from the pitman arm to the center link, and then I'm going to take the three bolts. As I said this morning, that thing is surprisingly heavy. I think it's got to be 35, 40 pounds. So, you know, we're going to, once, uh, once I undo those bolts, it's just going to drop. And so I'm going to try and put something under it just so it doesn't go straight to the ground and mess up the center of anything. Give me my flash. You know, for something that should have uh, been on there for years and years and years, I got a sneaking suspicion. The reason I got power steering fluid all over the inside of the engine is somebody has uh, messed with this in the past and they didn't do a good job of fixing it. Because uh, by the time it looks like by the time I get all three of these off. I would have still been struggling with the one that I was working on over there. And it failed. Now it's really draining. I can hear it. So, I originally got this I, I, at O'Reilly's and it was like $14.95 to lease it like, or buy it. Basically, they, they charge you what you paid for it. I may have already said that in a prior video uh, clip earlier. Uh, but uh, we're going to see, and matter of fact, I'm pretty positive it's not going to work. I was going to put this on the end of the uh, pitman arm. They suggest I needed an idler arm uh, pulley to get that so I might have to go get the idle on but the good news is it's really going to be a washing cost because I give them this one back they take the 1495 and they apply it to the idle on and we're done. Cooler to pop that off. Yeah, so that little voice inside your head that tells you don't do something, yeah. I don't think I have one. Whatever. Alright, 
right, so that is. Hmm? Yeah, that's on there good. All right, so there's a rubber check valve right here that's connected to the center link. Been, uh, it's been a long day trying to do this and it's really not coming off. Looks like coming off the uh, pitman arm's not coming off the center lake the way I expected it to. So uh, we're going to keep at it and uh, you know, see what we do. Meanwhile, I'm going to have to go to the store, get some stuff, wait for, wait for my wife to get home so that uh, she can wash the kids while I do that. So meanwhile, I've got some degreaser here. Uh, there's power steering fluid all over the inside of this engine. So I'm going to make good with my time. Uh, I'm going to clean up uh, some of this mess. Uh, as soon as I can get that pitman arm uh, detached from the center link, uh, then we'll get back to it and uh, get that other guy in here and uh, get it attached, reattach the steering, some power steering fluid, and uh, we'll pick up where we left off. All right.